Do 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 do. Are you okay, Annie? Annie, are you okay? Are you okay? Are you okay, Annie? You've been struck by, been touched by a smooth criminal. Hey guys, welcome to Sands Mines Lounge. I'm Chris. This is my America flag, and this is my lounge. We are here today to talk about Touched by Morgan Strebler. No, you weren't touched by him, but you might have been, you just didn't know it. Get it? So this effect, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, men and women. Touched by Morgan Strebler is a collection of effects that allows you to touch one person and the other person feel it without you actually touching them. So it's like, I'm gonna touch this hand, but then whoa, this hand just felt. I'm like, how did that happen? I'm not a twin, I don't. I don't get that, but this effect allows you to get that. And also you can make them feel a sensation with the other person feeling it without the sensation that going, you, you'll get it. Let's just show the trailer. Not very good at explaining things. Apparently this is the fourth take we've tried. Cut to teaser. Mind and movement, a force that constantly shadows you. I felt it was too <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to this week's Herman's Hints, where I show you hints and tips for the everyday magician. Anyways, for this week, we got this amazing hint about hecklers and how to handle with them. Now, as you've been following along, you would know that our theme this month and these uh, past few weeks is about handling your heckler. So for this week, a tip for you is that you need to be stronger than your heckler. Stronger! Now, what I mean by that is you don't need to be stronger physically, like you gotta win an arm wrestle with them before you show them a trick or something like that. What I mean is you need to be stronger in terms of your presence, in terms of your character and how you present yourself. Because if you're very passive with a heckler and you're just letting your heckler stomp all over you, then of course it's not gonna be fun for either you, the rest of the spectators, it's gonna be, yeah, it's just not gonna be a very fun performance. So instead of letting your heckler, you know, step all over your performance, what you should do is actually involve your heckler as much as you can. Now what I mean by that is you wanna actually involve them in some of the process in the magic that doesn't actually revolve around the magical process itself. Now that doesn't really make any sense, but what I mean is, you know, have them show the card, protect the card, um, you know, show it to everyone and involve them as much as you can so that they don't feel left out or have enough time to heckle you and watch out for all the moves and stuff. And it's always great if you do um, sleight of hand as well, so that they have nothing, nothing to catch. Now, if you've been following along, then you'll know that one of the tips on handling a heckler was to have backup moves. So when you're doing sleight of hand, and you just have this out in case um, your heckler you know, tries to catch your moves and stuff like that. So that's one way in order to handle your heckler. Stronger character, involve them as much as they can so that they don't have enough time to heckle you. Or at least they don't feel like they have so much time that they need to heckle you. So bear that in mind. And as always, we're open for hints and tips. So, you know, feel free to submit your hint or tip and be featured on the lounge. So guys, I'm gonna see you guys next week. Actually, I'm not. I'm not seeing you guys next week. Um, what's actually gonna happen is Jansen's gonna be taking over for next month, just so, you know, I mean, Chris always says that he has a face for radio, but I always believe that he had a face for camera. And I know you're gonna miss this beautiful face, but his is, I mean, his is relatively beautiful too. It's okay. It's not as good looking as me, but he's Asian too. It, it'll be fine. It's almost like we're the same guy. You won't, you won't even feel a change. So guys, see you later. Enjoy next week's hints and hopefully you enjoyed this one too. Okay guys, so that's it for us this month of January. I hope you had a great month. Hopefully next month I'll have a new beard. Fingers, fingers crossed. Anyway, remember to follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube. Morgan? Morgan is that? You didn't tell me you were gonna give me a wet willy, okay? That wasn't part of the gag. He was, he was meant to blow in my ear. But he gave me a wet bloody will. This is why no one likes you, okay? Guys, follow us on all our, our social media. I'm gonna go wash my ear out. Um, I'll see you next month. Stay safe. God, this is disgusting. I, so freaking. This is so gross.